Okay, so I got a good one for you today. Those of you who like um, tractors and working on tractors. Let me see. John, Turning Riches, John Clem, Henry, uh, Garden Tractor. Let's see who else. Bill over there, Wild Bill and Bill that guys like playing with tools. Uh, those of you guys who like, uh, you know, repairing stuff, this is for you. So, customer brought this over and says, tractor does not move, will not drive, will start but not drive. So what's the first thing you're thinking about, guys? Now, I'm just getting home. So the first thing I want to check is, oh boy, I don't want you to hear me getting down here. Uh, but the first thing I'm thinking about is the belt. Is the drive belt gone? Okay, so I can see it around the pulley up there. Uh, let me see if I can put you somewhere while I'm trying to pull on it. Let's see how we can do this here. Maybe I can brace you right up here like this. That's not working. Okay. So, I see the belt. Uh, okay, it's loose, but it doesn't feel broke. Okay. Uh, I really don't want to take that deck off. Let's see. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm back. Ronaldo here. Um, this one got me, guys. Um, and girls. As you can see, the belt is good. I mean, it, it's not good, but it's there. It's going to go. Eventually. And this is not one belt that I would like to change. Um, I can see how it goes, but it's entirely too much to take off. And it probably can be done a simpler way. I just don't see it. Because, oh, well, well let me get to, to what the video. Um, customer bought it over said tractor would not you know move forward or reverse and he was right but i did get it to move so it let me know that the transmission was okay and when it moved something clicked in okay i'm, I'm gonna give you a heads up right now this is what i believe the culprit was okay that piece there is connected to this stupid little um break thing there okay and that should have given me a warning because that kept getting stuck all right but uh man i i stayed on this thing last night until i wore myself out and um i was about to give up and just tell him you know that the transmission was shot but the transmission couldn't have been shot because it did move but it wouldn't move again. So I looked at a video of Henry's. And another thing, guys, if you don't have a fancy setup, um, you take the deck off and you push them over. I used to be scared to do this, but it doesn't hurt a thing. Just push them on over. Push it on over, guys. Just push it over so your carburetor is facing up. Okay? That's my advice. Now, back to this. And what I noticed after being under here for about 20, 25 minutes just looking, first I thought a pulley was bound up. Now, prior to me getting this unjammed, I could turn all these pulleys. So I sat here and I figured out, I said, well, should it be that loose? 
Now you got a little tension on it, and that's how it should be. Because when you apply, let me see. Let me, let me do this so you can see. Okay, I'm going to push the, the brake pedal in or clutch, whatever, and, and see how this is supposed to work. And that's what gave me the cue. All right, now I'm doing it by hand. See, when you push that, it takes the pressure off, which serves as a brake, so nothing is, is uh, tight, so it shouldn't turn, correct? Now, it's, it's bound up again. I'm glad that happened. Okay, so what's happening is, this piece here is not going back down so you push the brake, that piece should be like that. So I'm thinking maybe the, I'm glad I did that because I thought I had fixed it, but now I've got to fix it so it doesn't keep. See, when you apply it, take it off, it's not dropping back down. It should drop down like that. So I've got to figure out why when you apply the pressure, this, when you take your foot off, this isn't dropping back down to there. I got a good mind to disconnect that thing, man. I mean, because this is the problem. Um, Maybe if I tighten this up, so maybe this is loose. Let me try that. I'll come back. Guys, all right, I think we've got it. This screw was the culprit. Now watch, watch this area here. All right, we got tension. So by right, right now, this mower should drive, okay? Now, watch when I apply the brake, what this does. It was popping up allowing it not to come back to full tension okay there we go see it stays and that's what it, I tighten it up and old Josh would appreciate it for once on Big Sun I'm gonna tell you what to use a 10 millimeter you're never gonna get this again okay cuz I just say grab a wrench but I'm telling you this one stunned me. But there it is, okay? It's not moving. It's not locking. What it was doing, raising up and binding so that it wouldn't give tension so it would drive. Now this belt is on the way out. Okay? But uh, I don't think that's anything I can tackle. I mean, if I had to, I probably could figure out, but it would take far too much time. Yep, this may have to go to the shop for that. Um, it's just one of them things, man. I mean, on the John Deere's and the Craftsman, you got about what? You guys that know none of this. Why is all this even necessary? Okay, I'm going to flip it back over. And let me show you something else. Oh, I can't see it, but I'm going to clean the engine up a little bit, too, because I don't like that. And I'm going to clean that deck up, too. But we got it, okay? That's what it was. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but whatever this little uh, brake, emergency brake, it was binding up. Um, if I could give you a better shot. Let me see how I can show you where it was binding at. Uh, bear with me. I'm on my knees. It was binding up. Right there. Okay, you see where the bar goes down? You see that curl piece? Alright, that's where it was binding up at. Okay? Alright, this is a wrap. Turn it back over, see what we got, call the customer.
This one really got me. I was about to throw in the towel on this one. Okay. Now, it didn't come here for this. But I can't put that deck back under there like that. I just can't. You know, I'm, I am a stickler for being, you know, a little clean at least. And all that stuff right there, another problem that causes, that'll bind up those pulleys. And none of that stuff will move. And you'll wonder why when you engage your blades, your deck won't um, grass and mud. It's just like cement. It'll get in there, and I've seen it bind them pulleys up, and that whole mechanism, blades won't engage. So I'm going to blow that down. And here's another area I can't stand. I can't stand seeing that neither. That's where either oil has leaking or ran over. So I'm going to super clean all this and clean that up too. Okay? Okay. Here goes the moment of truth, guys. I mean, there's no reason, no reason why it shouldn't move. Oh boy. Let's see. That one right there, that one right there got me. I almost wanted to give up on that thing. And I'm glad. And I had texted the customer last night, left him a message rather than said, hey, you know, I, I can't figure it out. I mean, I had the wheel off, you know, because sometimes if you leave the, the keyway out the wheel, that wheel look like it's going to end up needing a tube because it's cracking. But if you leave the keyway out, you know, sometimes that's a problem. I had the wheel off. Everything. And the culprit is this little brake sun messing up, huh? Well, turns out that's the culprit. So now that I know what I know, I think I could have done it without taking the deck off. But I had no way of seeing any of that without doing all of that. Okay, so now I'm going to clean up this area. I'm going to super, super clean that area down. And that's it, man. I hadn't even, I hadn't even started working yet. <laughs> I hadn't even started my day yet. And what time is it? Let's see what time it is. Oh, boy, well, I don't have a full day today, so. It's uh, 1130. I haven't even left home, so. And what I do with stuff like this, man, you know, of course I have to charge because that was a lot of work, a lot of time. But I also learn. So I like when I learn something. And my comfort is in tractors. You know, you all know I, I love them. I still got my John Deere back there. Um, there it is covered up. Just fired it up yesterday. Uh, I need to get the mulch plug on it because I'm going to do some leaves with that. But I need to get as comfortable with the zero turns as I am with tractors. And that's why I stayed with a tractor so long. Because I was so comfortable with them. I felt like anything that could go wrong, I could fix it. You know. Um, but I, I really need to start uh, diving a little bit more into the intricate things with the zero turn. I think I'm going to tackle my, um, my uh, ZTR50 has non-serviceable, so they say, hydros. And I think the right one 
is a little weak I'm gonna try servicing that um, probably the end of this month because on the uh, on the 50 I can see where they have holes over the drain plug where you can fill it I'm gonna try to do it without taking the hydro off um, see if I can siphon it out hey none beats a failure but a try yeah but this is a wrap I'm gonna get it all cleaned up let the customer know please come and get this thing this wore me out mentally but I learned something different okay that's it big son is out